Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so excited because I'm doing my first ever laundry chat. So I'm doing this chat because I was tagged by this and that with Denise Jordan um, to do the laundry chat. So honestly guys, before this I didn't, I had never really heard of it. I didn't know what that was really. <laughs> and so, um, but Denise explained this basically like just doing your laundry and chit chatting about things. So that was perfect because as you can see, I have lots of laundry to do. I have a lot right here and on the side of me here also. So we'll be here for a while chatting. <laughs> um, so let me remind you guys to be sure to go over to Denise's channel to check out her laundry chat video. And I will have it listed in the description box down below. Now guys, I decided to go ahead and make this like a two for one because I was also tagged by my sister, Kimberly Davis with um, Diva Designing on a Dime. Kimberly tagged me in the new youtuber let's see what is it called exactly the new dear new youtuber creator tag so that tag was originally created by wani with wani's house hey wani now also kimberly tagged me in this so i decided to since i was double tagged <laughs> i thought i'd go ahead and combine two in one so while i'm fully laundry i will give you guys some new youtubers a few tips that I've come across now I have to say guys I'm not that um, I haven't been on YouTube that long myself um, so I'm at August will be two years that I've been on here yeah two years will be August will be two years so originally I started my channel first when I ever started it I created my channel in February of 2017 but um, I didn't upload my first video until April. And so then I uploaded a couple of videos and my son got sick and so I took a break off from April until August. So in August was when I came back full force, full fledged um, and really dedicated to my channel. So I would say to start out um, to encourage any new YouTubers, I would say if you have to take a break, do what you have to do to take care of your family, but then get back to it if you're really serious about it because the longer you're away the more it hurts your channel so I know I look at some youtubers that I really like and I go back to their channel and it may be weeks or even months before they upload a new video so I go to check them out but others might not so the longer you're away the the less likely your channel is to grow so I would say try to be consistent when I came back in August and that's part of the reason why I did go ahead and stop because I knew that I was not going to be able to be consistent. So I decided to just stop all YouTube activities altogether until I was able to focus my attentions on it fully. So I came back in August with my fall decor and we just went on from there. Now since then I have had a few little mishaps or missteps or whatever and I missed my consistency the way I'd like to around Christmas from this past year, um, from the fall through Christmas season, I was like cranking out videos, probably even from the summer. So last year in 2018, I did a lot of collaborations and I did a lot. And so I experienced was considered burnout. After January of 2019 came by, I was like, Ooh, I need a break. And so for the month of January, I may have posted four, video, four or five videos for the entire month. Well, my channel was like growing super fast and then I kind of slowed down a little bit since then, but I mean, I guess I'm pretty just steadily increasing now. So that's my next tip is, so which is, you should be consistent, try to be consistent as possible, but also try not to look at the numbers that much. I mean, you know, they're important, but if it's gonna stress you out and have you constantly you know, checking your analytics, then that's not healthy for you either. So you want to try to um, not be so, con not worry to about it too much. You know, you want to see what's going on, but try not to like stress over those numbers, basically. Okay, and next I would say as a tip is, and this is something I'm working on for my channel also, is that I would say try to have really great thumbnails. Now everyone's telling you guys that and I have to say it is true because you know that's how you choose what videos you want to see as you look at the picture first right? So if the picture looks intriguing then you click on the video. So I would say have a really good thumbnail and then also have your thumbnail. Be sure that your thumbnail is true to what the video is about. 
there have been times when I clicked on a video thinking it was one thing and then it was something completely different as I watched and I thought I just clicked off and so that's what most people will do they'll see that it's not what they thought it was and then click away and you don't want that that hurts your channel also so um, let's see here so have good thumbnails upload consistently um, then I would say also um, let's see I have some little notes here okay so we all know like with your equipment or whatever but I have lighting on here because I have lights on right now because it is you can see in the background there's a little bit of light in my home but it is cloudy and overcast today and the Sun is kind of out in and out so I have on all of the lights um, and I have natural light bulbs in my light fixtures here in my kitchen and so um, I also have um, a tripod with lights on it also just to add more light in here so I think that it's very important to have good lighting in your videos because if people can't really see what you're doing then they're gonna click away right and so with that being said I try to always film my videos during the daytime with the best daylight that's free it doesn't cost you anything and, and it's the best light you can have but uh, on days like this when you know the Sun is not out and I have to film then um, you know I try to have additional lighting to help brighten my videos and also with that being said I would say um, let's see here so have good lighting oh also have good sound now <laughs> it's funny that I say that too because um, I was trying out this new technique at least for me I was doing voiceovers on my videos and I didn't realize that you should not put the music before you put the voiceover otherwise your voice sounds drowned out and so on a couple of my videos I did that and trust me people were like oh it's a great video but I couldn't hear you which I think you could hear me it just wasn't like as loud as it probably is now but at any rate so I had to learn the hard way make sure you have good sound quality but I have watched some videos where there wasn't music you just really couldn't hear the person it was a lot of background noise or they sound very muffled or however so I would say just try to have a quiet setting if you can and guys you know I know that's hard because I have a little guy so sometimes you might hear him in the background but um, if possible have as quiet a setting as you can with the best lighting that you can that creates for a better quality video and of course people will then subscribe if they can hear you they can see you and they like what you're doing then they will subscribe now speaking of liking what you're doing that I want to say to that is that guys I don't know why some people create their YouTube channels but I think for me the best reason to create a channel is because you're doing something that you love something that you really enjoy doing that you want to share with others that's why I created my channel because I have a passion for home decor and for decorating and so it was something that I was doing even before I had my YouTube channel so creating the channel around what I already love to do is makes it feel just natural for me now um, so with that being said I'm more likely to continue because it's something I love if I had a channel like doing fishing then I wouldn't last long <laughs> and I'm just being serious guys like my husband loves fishing and I do like to go with him from time to time but it's not my passion so it's not something that I would constantly keep up with because it's not something that I really enjoy that much um, so yeah do what you're passionate about do what you love and then you'll keep doing it now let me go back to what I mentioned about me being burnt out now even when you're doing something that you truly love to do if you're pushing yourself like to your limit and you know trying to do everything then you can experience burnout so I would say be sure to pace yourself um, and you know and do what feels right for you so some people crank out videos every every day and that's great for them but I personally know that I cannot do that because you know I'm a mom I'm a wife and I work full-time so I don't I can't film enough videos on the weekend that would carry me through the week <laughs> So, um, you know, with church and everything too. So, right. So, with that being said, carve out the time that you can um, so that you can have time to film your videos and edit your videos. That's not going to interfere too much with your family life. But, um, but still, you have an opportunity to do what you can do. So, when I say schedule yourself, I mean 
If you know that you can do two or three videos a week consistently, then pace yourself for just that. Don't try to do one, something every week just because some are every day because other people are. I tried that too. I thought, oh, they're doing it, I can do it. And guys, you know, what one person do doesn't mean that you can. So, so with that, I'll say do not compare yourself to others. You know, um, you have to just do you, boo. <laughs> just do what you can do and that's it. And, and try not to keep up with the Joneses or whatever. You know, don't compare yourself to other people and what they're doing that you think you can do it too. You know what you can handle and you just do that. Um, so with that being said, I have a little note here about, um, okay, I talked about not stressing over numbers, being consistent and being and having quality video. So we talked about the lighting and sound that creates a quality video. So if you're being consistent, you're creating quality videos that you enjoy because when you enjoy it, it exudes through the camera. So when you enjoy what you're doing, then others will enjoy watching you. Um, then I think that creates the recipe for a wonderful video and with that comes subscribers. So let's see here, what else do I have here as far as notes? Um, don't compare yourself, do good thumbnails, I said that. Oh, and don't get lost in the YouTube space. So we talk, So let's talk about collaborations because there's a lot of collaborations, especially in our niche, the home decor niche. There's a lot of us that like to participate in collabs, myself included. And last year when I said I did so many videos, I was trying to participate in every single collaboration there was. And guys, it is not humanly possible, at least for me. For someone else, maybe, but for me, I was exhausted. I was up late nights, just about every night, trying to prepare for a video or shoot a video or edit a video. And so, and it just got to be too much. It was just too much, guys. It was just too much. It was impeding on, you know, my family time and just my own personal time. So I, so, you know, I had to make a decision and say, I'm going to have to, I just can't keep going at that pace. Like you can go, go, go for so long, but eventually you're going to burn out. So after I took my little break in January and only did a couple of videos, that's when I decided that I was going to just do what I can do. And my goal is to upload at least two videos per week. Usually I do at least three, but some weeks I might do one, but I'm trying to do something at least every single week. So speaking of which, I've decided that I'm going to try to do, set myself on a schedule. Now, my sister Kimberly with Diva Design on a Dime, I saw maybe a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, that she posted her schedule when she's gonna post YouTube videos. And I thought these were great days, and so I'm going to adopt her um, idea by saying that I'm going to post videos on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Now, Sunday is usually the day, Saturday and Sunday are the days that I usually film because again, I work during the week. So, I'm working on carving out time for myself on the weekend so that I can be sure to get enough footage filmed and have time to edit by Sunday. So, that means on the days that I'm not filming, then I might have to do a little bit of editing but that will also give me time for my family. And you know, uh, Sunday afternoons is usually when I will do most of my filming after church. So that's what I'm saying. You guys can hold me to it. I am hoping to start implementing that by May 1st or the first you know, week in May. Um, we're in April now. And so I'm going, I already have some videos that, that I'm already needing to edit and then post. So I don't know if I'm gonna start that schedule just yet, but I will um, put like a community tab post as to when I actually start my um, dedicated days that I'm gonna post videos. Now, but you know, with that guys, I have so many segments on my channel, and that's another thing too. Everyone says that you should be niched down so you're just doing something in particular, and that's how your channel will grow. I believe that's probably true because that's what the YouTube gurus say. Um, but I like to do a lot of things, and so I consider my channel like a lifestyle channel because I like to obviously decorate, but I also like to um, cook and I like gardening. Well, I can't say I like to cook. I like to cook sometimes, <laughs> but I do love gardening and I love taking care of like my hair, cleaning my home, you know, cleaning my home and things like that. So with that being said, I have um, several segments on my channel. I have cooking with Kenya. I have hair care with Kenya. 
Um, I do clean with me's. I do shop with me's. You guys know I love shopping. I love to do hauls, which um, we're in a no spend month right now. I'm a part of a YouTube group that's um, hosted by this and that with Denise Jordan. And we are like a sisterhood of creators. Um, and we're trying to hold ourselves accountable and help each of the, each each and every one of us grow individually um, by learning, you know, information as it relates to YouTube. And so in that, we decided to do a no spend month where you're not spending a lot of money because YouTube can be very expensive, guys, especially for home decor channels. It can be very expensive. Um, my first year, I spent thousands, thousands of dollars on home decor. So much so that my husband was like, what? That could have been a car. <laughs> but it was okay. My justification was because we had just moved into our home and so I was buying things for my to decorate my home with. And so now that we're settled in our home and I think it's pretty much decorated the way I like, now I'm not out just spending. Um, and so this is not really much that, that we need. But I am... Um, so I'm in a no spend month for April. So I'm trying not to go out and buy any items to save. And so, um, yeah. So that's that. Uh, what was I saying before? Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought. But so yeah, we're, I was saying YouTube can be expensive. So just be in your niche. Oh, so as it relates to your niche, um, there are lifestyle channels also that are very successful. Um, and so that's that's kind of where I am right now. I love home decor. That's my thing. That's like my number one thing that I love. But I do love sharing other things about my life that I do. And, um, you know, people seem to enjoy it as well. So, so, yeah. So that goes back to just doing you and doing what feels good to you and what you enjoy. And, again, if you enjoy it, then others will too. Now, um, I think that's all of my tips here. And I'll be sure to have everything recapped at the in the description box for you also. Um, let me see here, what else did I say? I talked about setting aside time. And, oh, I should also say, have a nice background. So, um, we were talking about that not too long ago in our sisterhood group. And some people were saying they didn't think the background mattered. And guys, to me, the background totally matters. It matters if your background is messy, like if I... If my dining room table there was, you know, messy with all kinds of stuff on it, or if I had clothes hanging across my sofa in the background, then you guys would see that. And to me, that's a distraction. And so I think it's important to keep your background beautiful. Like it can be a nice setting, or if you don't want to have anything nice and just have a white or black or whatever, just be in front of a wall or whatever, but something so that it's not a distraction so people can focus on you and, and what you're doing and what you're talking about. So... I think a background is nice, and I think it also creates for a more professional video. And um, so all the other tips that I talked about, lighting, sound, um, thumbnails, and everything else, all of that counts towards having a professional looking channel. So um, I started YouTube not thinking about money. Honestly guys, I didn't even think, I didn't know you could earn money on YouTube when I started. I just, like I said, started because I just wanted to share um, you know, with others what I love to do. And so, after a while, I did find out that there is an opportunity to earn money, but I would say, do not quit your day job, girl, <laughs> because you're just making a few coins, you know, a few cents. YouTube is not going to pay your mortgage, at least not in the beginning. I mean, if you're here for years and years and you build up your channel to like hundreds of thousands or, or millions, of subscribers then perhaps maybe but you know when you're a smaller youtuber and I think smaller is anything under 50,000 that's what I think of as smaller now um, then you might make a few dollars to buy a few things like maybe buy a light kit or a microphone or something like that but I don't see it paying my mortgage so <laughs> so um, so I'm saying is what I'm saying is have realistic goals for yourself and know that start YouTube if you're starting it and you're doing it, do it because it's something that you love doing, not because you're trying to make money, not because it's trying to be your side hustle, because you'll be sadly mistaken. <laughs> so, um, but you know, you can make a few, you can make a few dollars if you are consistent and you're posting quality videos and you can make a few dollars. 
and I have, and, and actually it's, it was, um, I was able to, or we were able to um, really, you know, do Christmas without having to really spend any money out of our own pockets because of monies that I had earned and I saved. Um, now, now this year I'm working towards earning money so that I can reinvest it into my channel because I would like to get a DSLR camera because you guys know I film everything on my cell phone and some people think that in order to get started with YouTube you have to have all this expensive equipment and everything no all you need is a cell phone with a recorder <laughs> and so and if you get your, and if you don't have lighting then get in the natural light and all of it will come together so yeah you, you don't have to start off with a lot of equipment with a lot of money um, and then if you're doing something that doesn't require you to spend a lot of money then you could really really you know do well so if you're doing like um, cooking videos where you're gonna spend money on your food anyway then you could do well with your channel because you're not having to spend extra money for YouTube as relates to buying home decor and things like that but um, let's see here I think I'm all out of tips let's see here say make your channel look professional have a nice, nice background set aside time to film and edit um, Participate in challenges. So, I, so I, what I said to, about challenges, I said, um, you know, participate, but don't burn yourself out. But do participate. I mean, it's a great way to meet other YouTubers and to meet other subscribers. So, um, I think participating in challenges are a lot of fun. And sometimes it's helpful for me when I can't think of anything to do. Like, I don't know what video to do today. Then they're hosting a challenge. It's like, awesome. Now I can do that instead of trying to think of what I want to do. But on the flip side, it can take the place of what you want to do also. Sometimes you can participate in so many challenges that you lose sight of what you want to do on your own channel. So that's another tip too. Try not to get so lost in the YouTube space within our niche that you lose sight of why you started your channel in the first place and what you want to uh, feature on your channel. So um, I, I, I do have a friend who started out YouTube in a... Wanted to, wanted to do something completely different and she kind of ended up in this home decor niche and so now she's trying to refine herself and you know get back to her roots and what she really wanted in the first place and I get that because it's easy to just get excited about all these challenges and participate and then before you know it your home decor channel when you thought you were going to be you know something else I don't know but anyway so be true to yourself Participate in the challenges. Do what you can do. If you can't actually create a video to participate, you can also participate by supporting all the other ladies and guys that do participate so you can watch the playlist and comment on everyone's videos and watch the playlist through, you know, completely. And then comment on their videos. That's another way of supporting your, you know, your fellow YouTuber. Um, and... So yeah, that's a great way to to gain your to build up your momentum on your channel is by participating in challenges. And there's all every for every season there's always a whole lot of challenges out there to participate in if that's what you want to do. And if you're ever interested in knowing like how to find out what 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 um, challenges to participate in, then I would say be sure to check out Denise Jordan with this and that Denise on Sundays afternoons I think it's 645 or something like that she does a um, kind of like a shout out where she talks about all of the collaborations coming up that she knows about and so yeah so she's a great great resource um, if you're interested in finding about finding out about collaborations um, and so okay guys I am done with this set of laundry I got my towels folded so I'm gonna have to go put these away and so I guess I'm gonna call this video at the end and go ahead and put these items up but so I hope that you all have enjoyed this if you are a new youtuber I wish you all the best of luck and I pray that you'll be successful on your journey and you know that's all that's why we're all here just trying to have fun have a good time and, and that's exactly why I'm here I'm just wanting to share with everyone what I love the most so um, I wish you well if you're a new YouTuber. For the YouTubers that are not new out there, then I hope that you've learned something new or, or gotten a few tips or if nothing else, just a refresher on things that you may have already known to apply to your channel. Now guys, there's a lot of other things that you could do to help your channel grow as well that I didn't touch on, like making sure your about page is filled in completely. And for a long time, mine was not, but 
having that page completed gives not only other viewers but also possible um, companies that may want to collaborate with you it gives them an idea of what your channel is all about so it's, it's very important for you to have your about page completed so that people will know what your channel is about sometimes you know I've, there's been channels that I've watched and I'm like what is this channel about like what do you do um, and it's hard to tell because their about page is not completed so um, so yeah so I would say have your about page completed number one if nothing else and then have a great picture for your for your um, like your little avatar picture have that picture be really good not of something that people can't really tell what it is there's been times where I'm like what is that or maybe a flower or something well that that's not personal and I think that people really want to want to get to know you as a person and so if you have a great picture of yourself it doesn't have to be a professional picture but it can be something that you take in with your cell phone and um, just cropped it down so that you can get a great shot of your face so that people can see you and know who it is behind the channel so that's another tip um, and so yeah anyway if you guys are interested in me doing a video on different tips um, that you might be interested in as it relates to um, helping your channel to grow or at least be recognized then leave me comments down below um, that's really not my thing but I have learned a lot more things along the way in this journey that I would love to share with you guys if you're interested. Alrighty guys, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you have enjoyed this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And for my faithful family members, you guys know I love you so, so much and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.